In a world where information is exploding. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. What if there was just one place you could look to find all the information you needed to run your business as a salesperson? That is Salesforce. And I am Jim Anthony, a CBT Nugget trainer, and this is a CBT Micro Nugget on Salesforce. What is it? And what does it do? And why does it exist? We're going to talk about that right here, right now. So this is you, and you are a salesperson, which means you sell things for a living. And by things, I mean stuff. And stuff is really important because that's the thing that you sell to people. And these are people. And the thing about people is they tend to work for companies, and these companies have these things called projects and initiatives. And so there's information about projects and initiatives that you need to understand and keep organized. And that information applies to those particular companies, and you got to make sure that the information about this project is associated with that particular company and not this particular company. And that person who works for that company is going to help that initiative be successful. And so you want to help that person help that company be successful. And so what you need to do is maintain all this information about the people, the companies, the projects, and all of your stuff so that you can match up your stuff with their stuff. You want to make sure that the stuff you sell solves the problem for the people and the companies that have the projects. And then once you do all that stuff and you, you organize all that information, then you got this other person in your life called a boss and the boss wants to know about all this stuff. So you create a forecast and a forecast keeps all this information organized and these neat little columns and then you roll it up to the boss and it has to be accurate because then the boss is going to look at it and the boss is going to roll it up to their boss and what happens to their boss is they've got to go in front of the whole world sometimes wall street and say hey guys here's what's going to happen to our business this month or this quarter or this year and then they set expectations and guess what happens if they miss those expectations either on the upside or the downside the world thinks that that particular person doesn't know what they're doing and that's not a good thing because ultimately that person got their information from you so now this person ends up on the street without a job and this company goes bankrupt because their market capitalization went through the floor and it all happened because you couldn't roll up an accurate forecast because you didn't use Salesforce. Okay, that might have been just a little over dramatic there, but you know what? If you did use Salesforce, it would have looked something like this. And here we are, we're logged in as Phil Smith. He's a sales rep and we're on the home page of Salesforce. And this is what Salesforce looks like. We're looking at a web page. This is not a piece of software. You are able to keep track of all your people and the companies and opportunities and the deals uh, just using a web page or a website. And so one of the first things I want to point out about Salesforce is how social and collaborative it is. This link right here, this hide feed button, this is the chatter feed. And Chatter is the social capability of Salesforce. So when we click on Show Feed from the Home tab here, we're going to get a kind of a Twitter-like or a Facebook-like update of what's going on with the things that you're working on. This is one of the really cool tools within Salesforce. So what you have to do is you have to go through, let's, say, let's click on Show More Updates. You have to go through the people that are in your organization that you need to to follow and and maintain a a collaboration with and you have to follow them you just click on the follow button and then when you do that well let's go over to the well, we're on the chatter tab now good so on the chatter tab you're gonna see a feed that shows all the different people that you're following and everything that they're working on and whenever they go into uh, an account or a contact or something that, that you're collaborating with them on, then when they make a change, it's going to show up here in your feed and you're going to be able to keep track of what they're doing and you know what they're thinking, and etc. So you follow each other within Salesforce and then instead of sending emails, you just post comments to the feed and everybody stays on the same page. So that's one key cool thing about Salesforce, but you know other uh, critical aspects of Salesforce is that it helps you organize information. You know, as a salesperson, you got to keep track of all the accounts and companies that you work with and information about those companies, all the people that you're dealing with, whether it's your partners, your coworkers, or the people in those accounts that you're trying to work with and, and sell to. You got to keep track of all their information. You have all the different opportunities you're working on, all the deals and all the sales that you're trying to, to keep you know, you're managing multiple campaigns in multiple companies. That's a lot of information that you need to keep organized and, and, and clear. Then when you do develop a sales pipeline of opportunities, you've got to be able to communicate that to your boss and to their boss. So you have to be able to create a forecast that's accurate 
about all these different deals and people and accounts and then roll that up to your boss. And then all of this information, you know, there's a lot in here. So you need to be able to organize that information in different ways so that it makes sense and so that you can then share it with others. And reports allows you to customize the way information is laid out and then to share that information. And what the dashboards do is they help you uh, visualize all that information in those reports. So you create charts and graphs and all those kinds of things and you put them on one page all, all together. You're able to communicate very clearly, very quickly using these tools. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what this looks like. Let's go over here to the leads tab and we're just gonna go ahead and create a new lead. Click on that, we'll click on continue. Now let's fill in a little information. And then we'll call this a contacted lead. And notice the red bars here. Whenever you see the red bar, that means it's a mandatory field. It has to be filled out or you're not going to be able to save it there. But we've put in that basic information. Let's scroll down a little bit. We could put in some address information here, some additional information, description. So that's pretty good information. So let's go ahead and click on Save. And now we've saved this lead. So notice we're still in the Leads tab. And we have a Sam Smith lead and it shows you the company that he works for and this is a contacted thing here. So let's scroll down a little bit. Now one of the things I want you to notice is what makes Salesforce such a powerful tool and that's the way it connects information so that you as a sales rep can know as much as possible before you meet with a customer or to prepare for any particular meeting with a customer. And part of that are these social connections. Once you create the lead, you're able to pretty quickly go to their LinkedIn profile or Twitter or Facebook, or if they have a YouTube page, and learn as much about this person as possible before you meet with them. So that way you can really get on the same page with somebody as quickly as possible. The whole goal is really to truly to understand people and their businesses and the industries that they're in so that you can come in with good ideas. Prospects don't have time to meet with salespeople unless salespeople already have some degree of understanding and some ideas on how to help them with their projects, with their initiatives, or with their business problems. And so Salesforce is a tool that you can use to organize and find information to help you with that. So we saw those social links. Now let's look down here. There's also these, these custom links. And you can get on Google or the Hoover's profile or whatever, and you can research the company and the person further to really gather good information. The other thing you're able to do is go ahead and send a, a lead or a prospect an email right from Salesforce. And this is critical because you can use the HTML option to go ahead and send an email to a prospect and then you can actually track how that email is doing. Did the prospect open it? When did they open it? How many times have they opened it? And so that's really good information to know if you're connecting with somebody or not before you actually go make a call on that person. So anyway, once you, once you get information into this lead, what you want to do then is go back up to the top and you want to actually convert this. You want to take it out of lead status and into an account and contact that you can really work with. So we're going to go ahead and click on convert. And what you're going to see here is it's the pre-convert convert page. And then after it's been converted, it's no longer viewable or editable as a lead. You now have to go into contacts and, and, and accounts to, to work with that. So we're going to go ahead and convert it. Now it's converted. And so what, what I want you to notice is now you have one contact. Here's the, we're on the accounts tab. So this is the account now. It has one contact here. There's an opportunity associated with it. So now what you've done by hitting the convert button is you've created an account you've created a contact, and you've created an opportunity. All three different types of records. That's the quick way to get information into Salesforce, and then you can start manipulating these records to roll them into a forecast and, and get them into the reports, etc. So I really appreciate the chance to put this together. I hope it's been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.